What's up, everybody? Your boy Jay here. Um, I wanted to jump in real quick and kind of give my opinion on this. Um, earlier today, I was on my phone and an alert popped up from Bleacher Report that WWE has released Bray Wyatt. Um, I had to look up and read to see what happened. Um, I know Bray hasn't been on TV for a long time, but this was, was shocking. This one was shocking. Um, anytime anybody's released, it's shocking. But this one, this is like a huge name. And um, I was just more surprised at it than anything else. I mean, as you can see, I'm a Bray Wyatt fan. And um, you talk about a man who put in work in this character. Um, I mean, every time they gave him something, he ran with it and got it over. So it's really shocking that they would release him. Um, a lot of the reports I'm reading is that um, they told him it was due to budget cuts. Um, seems like that's what they use every time they release people. Um, another thing is, I was reading a lot of other reports saying that he was not being difficult, but he wasn't really happy or vibing with the way that they wanted his they wanted to do with this character and you know he 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 committed to this character like he he went all out for it the fiend is was a very different character but bray wyatt with everything that they've given him he's gotten over he turned chicken shit into chicken salad every time um, i mean obviously for the exception of the whole nexus thing um but this this was a shocking one um, not happy. I was, I'm a huge Bray Wyatt fan. Um, with the whole inception of the Wyatt family, they got that over. Um, the whole thing with John Cena, like they, every time they pushed him, they brought him back down and he found a way to get everything back up from the Wyatt family to, to everything he did with Randy, to the, the leader of worlds, to the fiend, the five fun, fl the f whatever. Um, the, Firefly Funhouse, um, he got it over. And for them to, if it was, it's true that, you know, he gave pushback on what they wanted to do with this character and he gave pushback on that, by all means, he has every right to. Because, you know, every incarnation he got over. Even at, when they put him at his lowest, he still got that character over. I mean, from everything that happened with John Cena and then when he, when they finally gave him the world title and everything they, they did with Randy Orton, and then coming back as the fiend, and then everything they did with Goldberg, he got he got everybody he got all those characters over, all of them, you know, and which which is just shocking to me that they're willing to let somebody like that go, you know, and it just blows my mind, you know, the amount of good talent that they're letting go right now. I'm a huge WWE fan. I watch WWE more than. AEW, Impact, Ring of Honor. I don't watch, I really don't watch that. I watch WWE, I'm a fan of it. I enjoy it. Um, but I know, not just me, a lot of people who are big fans are questioning some of these releases. You know, they released Braun Strowman after being in a world title match. You know, people like Buddy Murphy, they released him after just killing it with Seth Rollins. You know, it's just, and then you look at other characters that they try to bring in and do stuff with and you're like, but you let this guy go, but you're giving this person what they don't, what they haven't earned, they haven't worked for, but you try to push them, you know? Um, even Marie's one of them, you know? Uh, and I'm probably gonna get flagged for that, but Bray Wyatt got all of his characters over by himself with whatever they gave him. Like, he literally got the song, I got the whole world in my hands. Everybody loved that. And then I know when uh, the whole Fiend character came out and he had the, the broke down version of Sesame Street or Mr. Rogers, people were like, what the hell is this? He got that over, you know? And then the whole thing with Matt Hardy, you know, they both got that over. But I don't understand what WWE is doing with these people, that they just release them after they put their work in. I don't get it. I get, you know, everybody works hard. You, you, you know, you have the potential of being let go, but with a big organization like that, you know, you gotta, you gotta give them some rope, not to hang themselves, but give them enough flack to, to, they got this themselves over. 
Look how many times they're doing this with Cesaro. I'm surprised that he's still around, that they haven't released him. I feel bad for him because he's busted his ass too. But but this one this one's shocking, you know. I'm I'm kind of floored by it. Um, let me know what you think. Were you a fan of Bray Wyatt? I'm a I was a huge fan of his, you know, from everything that they you know the Wyatt family did with the Shield, the things he did with Roman Reigns, the the stuff with Randy Orton. You know, I was a huge fan of that. He got over. He got over. And and if it's true that they released him because he didn't want to put up with their shit anymore, the bad booking and shit like that, or bad creative, then good for him. Hopefully he finds a good home where they, they treat him the way he needs to be treated and they give his mind respect. You know? It's about being creative. And they're they're taking that away from people. You know, let me know down in the comments what's your favorite Bray Wyatt match. Um, what was your favorite incarnation of his? Um, the man killed it. You know, wherever he goes, he's gonna flourish. But again, thanks for watching. Um, sorry for the rant. Um, stay tuned. Let's see what else happens. Hopefully, he goes to somewhere good, and uh, they give him the respect that he needs. But um, thanks for watching. Give the the video a thumbs up. And we'll see you on the next one.